Hello everybody, Keith here again. Today I want to do a repot of this NID Phalaenopsis. It's um, one I've had for quite a long time. It's just an ordinary NID from a supermarket or a garden centre or something that I like. It's got some quite nice pink flowers. It's not been brilliant for a little while, but it did far earlier on this year. Um, and as you can see, it's now putting out uh, a new leaf, having dropped two. But I think I got those, I got it too, in too much light. I've got uh, another fowl which quite happily takes full sunlight, and I put this next to it. And this thing, you can see around the edges of the leaf, it's pink, pinky red. Um, and the leaves that dropped off were were brick red, so they're obviously getting far too much light. Anyway, we've got a new leaf, and we've also got at least one new root coming. And there, there is one there that's grown relatively recently. But I think it's probably overpotted. My feeling is that's, that's much too big a pot for it. So... Uh, I want to have a look and see what's inside and then think about putting it down into the, at least one pot size because I think it'll be better if I do. So, um, first job is going to be to ease it out of the pot and we'll see what we've got inside here. I've been going to do it for a while but I haven't because I ran very short of bark. But now I have got some. It's been in here for about a year, by the way, almost exactly a year. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, we've actually got some quite nice roots there. That one's dead. And that one's dead. But... Um, so if I take that off and that bit off <clears throat> now I could probably cut a chunk of this stem off but I'm not sure that I can justify doing that um, I think what I'm going to do instead is leave that as it is, that's lost its tip, just there, it's, it's trying to branch I think, um, but I'm not sure how successful it's been, you've got something there, which looks to me like you've got th three or four tips, and the same on that one, so I'm going to trim it very gently, very slightly, and, and risk it, but we have got some nice roots on here anyway, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. This is going to recover fairly well. So the first job is going to be just taking off any bits that have obviously gone like that, but even these decent roots. You know, like on that one, we've got a, a branch. So I think overall, uh, we've got a good chance of pulling this one around. But that pot is way too big. It's something that I really haven't come to grips with until relatively recently. And I think that certainly not help a lot of the plants. So, okay, don't need to do anything more with that. What have we got down here? It's my stack of pots of different sizes. Mm. Not really, much smaller. Okay. So, what else have I got down here then? Something slightly smaller. That's going to be too small. 
that, I suspect, will be too small. Yep. So, I'm going to end up with this one, which is the same diameter as that. Unfortunately, it's not... Um, uh, it's not translucent, but there's not a lot I can do about that. The important bit is that although it's the same diameter, it's quite a lot shorter. So I think by the time we've got this plant in this pot, and to be fair, we've got quite a lot of root width on this, so I think. One way or another, put that in there, and the roots are coming down to about here. So it's certainly going to be a lot better off in terms of of the root. Now, do I take some a little bit of that stem off? Might be worth just taking that off. Yeah, we're still in the dead, so that's all right. So, quick one. Put that in there. That aerial root. Is just going to have to stay out. I can't bend that round. It's gone in completely the wrong direction. That's going to have to do what it may. But I can get that into that pot quite nicely and get the root tips as fairly close to the bottom. So, what have we got we can use? No. Um, First things first, let's see whether this bot is going to come through the bottom. No. No it isn't, so that's alright. I've got some... I get quite concerned sometimes that um, I end up with um, a plant where the, you're trying to pot it up um, and either you end up with all the um, uh, the bark falling out of the bottom or you go to the opposite extreme and everything clogs up and you can't actually um, get it to um, to drain properly and you end up with the bottom of the pot staying soggy and I think to some extent that's what was happening with this one before um, because it was struggling and I think it possibly lost some of the previous roots when I repotted it I have had that before um, so, um, so, there we are, very uh, quick and, uh, and dirty as you might say, but um, it's in a smaller pot, it should do a lot better, it should be able to get hold of the moisture it wants. Um, it's lower down, the roots can, can penetrate and I think that's going to be a lot better. Let's hope it's, it's a bit happier. Right, okay folks, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.